Fingers. Thank you. Now, how rife is teenage suicide in our country? We have a growing problem. Uh, we have mm. a lot of teens who are feeling very unsupported, very alienated. Mm. We're looking at about one in 10 students. So if you're a teacher sitting in a classroom, one in 10 of your kids is at risk. Mm -hmm. um, they're thinking about suicide. They're looking at it as an option. Mm -hmm. Kids are depressed, they're traumatized, and they're not getting the help they need. What are the causes of teenage suicide? Though? Very often it's what goes along with life and being mm -hmm. a teenager. Um, it's already a vulnerable time of life, physically, yeah. emotionally. And now we have kids who don't have the support, have gone through some kind of trauma, rape, crime, loss of a loved one, breakup of relationships, failure at school. All of those things can trigger a suicide attempt. Now, Sadak says that 80%, now that's a staggering number, 80% of teens who attempt or commit suicide share some warning signs. Yes. Share with us some of those warning signs. So looking at warning signs, look for changes in behavior. Mm -hmm. A child who is very outgoing suddenly becoming withdrawn. A child who's withdrawn suddenly becoming very outgoing or aggressive. Mm -hmm. Changes in eating and sleeping habits, changes in social circles, not wanting mm -hmm. to be around your friends, not wanting to talk on the phone, not caring what you look like, and saying things that we often mistake for just being dramatic. Things like, I hate my life, I don't want to be here anymore, mm. I don't want to live, life mm. isn't worth living, no one will notice if I'm not here. Mm. Those are very serious warning signs. Now, in your findings, what are some of the major reasons or the main reasons why, why students actually or, or, or teenage, uh, uh, teenagers commit suicide? Very often it's, it's hopelessness mm -hmm. is the key. Um, feeling like there's no way out of an escapable problem. Mm -hmm. Feeling like there's no other option. No one's there to listen. I can't deal with the pain anymore. I can't deal with the abuse, the failure, the ridicule, mm -hmm. the emotional pain and I need to get out. Are you engaging with schools to assist kids? Because apparently the, the, the figures look traumatic for k kids between the mm. ages of 15 and 19 years yes, old on this matter. absolutely. And SADC mm. has a program, the Suicide Shouldn't Be a Secret program, where we partner with schools, go into schools, talk to the kids, talk to the teachers about what are the warning signs of depression and what do you do if you see them in a friend or a learner. Mm -hmm. Is it mainly when it comes to exam time when this actually happens, when they feel depressed, or, or is it across the board? It's across the board. Mm -hmm. We see very often a spike in that stress reaction during exam time, mm -hmm. but it's very often across the board. Kids who aren't fitting in, who are being bullied, repeating a class, um, don't have money for uniforms, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Um, it's an unfortunately a worldwide and a, a year-wide mm -hmm. issue. Is it only teachers or s people like yourself, SADAC, the organization that could help kids, or are parents, what are their role in terms of this? It's everyone's responsibility mm -hmm. to prevent teen suicide. We can all do our part. And I think one of the things that we, we look at as SADAG is empowering people, parents, peers, sports teachers, faith-based organizations, mm -hmm. get involved, see the warning signs, speak to a child who you think is in trouble. If you see a child floundering, not coping, approach them, find out what's going on, and lend your support. And what sort of assistance do you as SADAC uh, provide to these uh, teenagers and to parents as a whole? We have a counselling line which is 0800 567 567 and people can give us a call. We open seven days a week from 8am to 8pm. Mm -hmm. If there's a problem, if you yourself need counselling, if you've got a child or a family member you're worried about, you want a community talk or need information, give us a call and we will assist. Just give us that number again, Janine. It's 0800 567 567. So it's a very easy number very that people easy can number actually to remember. Uh, remember, 0800 567 567. Is that the only means of contacting you in terms of... Not at all. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a very active website, um, which is sadag.co.za. Mm -hmm. um, people can SMS us on 31393. Mm -hmm. um, pop into our website and there's, we've got a 15-line call centre. Um, if anyone listening wants to donate a switchboard, please, we urgently need it because our systems are so busy and so overloaded. Mm -hmm. We got over 600 calls yesterday. So it's, we're very, very busy. Um, we do have you know, contacts on, on social media, Twitter, Facebook. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of ways people can get in contact. Let's get all those details. Let's start off with the Twitter page. What Perfect. Like it, yeah. it is at the SADAG, capital mm -hmm. T, S-A-D-A-G. And people can tweet us and follow us on that. And do you have a lot of comments on that Twitter page? Because youngsters utilize that those uh, type of platforms more often. Yes, very, very often, particularly teens, mm -hmm. feel 
uneasy about calling someone or speaking face to face to someone and social media is there. Mm -hmm. So our Facebook page is also very, very busy. We do mm -hmm. online chats. Mm -hmm. um, we will be doing our next one on Friday at one o'clock and again at 7 p.m. and people can log on to that. It's the South African Depression and Anxiety Group on mm -hmm. Facebook. Go onto our page, log in, join us, have your comments mm -hmm. and they're experts there to help. And then what do you discuss then on, on these online chats? What we'll be doing um, this week is looking particularly at teen suicide. So if you're a parent, a teacher, or a teen who's struggling yourself, you can send us a message, engage in conversation. What do I do? Are these warning signs? How do I help my child? Get some advice. And the Facebook page? What is the address there? It is the South African Depression and Anxiety So group. it's the full name? The yes, South the African full name. Uh, Depression and Anxiety Group. Yes. Thank you so much it's for coming in and, and giving us your thoughts and, and, and in terms of this. Uh, uh, that, uh, of course, is um, the SADAC spokesperson, Janine Shamos, uh, joining us here in studio, spokesperson for the South African Depression and Anxiety Group, SADAC. Now, you've seen the details on screen, and I'll repeat the, the main number for you. That is the toll-free number 0800-567. 567. You cannot forget that number. If you have anybody that suffers from depression or that you, uh, that you think is uh, suffering from depression, call that number 0800 567 567. And as you heard, there's an online chat, if I can call that correctly, on Facebook this coming week on the South African uh, De Depression and Anxiety right. Group uh, yes. Facebook page. Thank you so much, Janine, once Thank again. You.